Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Dash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom Lab Aquarium. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bashim Dash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, Spirit of Truth. Shalom Lab Aquarium. All right, which means peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children who were slated to be delivered in these last days. Okay, and um, I'm bringing this video out um, because it's in my speculation, my strong belief. I'm going to approve it without a shadow of a doubt. <clears throat> All right, that they will present the RFID chip, okay, without buying and selling first. Okay, and that's the deception of this devil, man. Okay, and we know what the scripture says. Daniel 8 and 25, and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. He shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of the princes, but he shall be broken without hand. Right, and the point that we want to take a look at is that by his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper. Meaning what? A craft basically deals with art it deals with technology as we've gone into before when you go into the, etymolo the etymology of the word craft it goes into technology it's it's all the same thing okay nevertheless this is what he wants to present this technology or this craft right because it's a part of his policy his policy is to what to in, to uh, bring in the new world order his policy also according to the scriptures tell you that let me get it real quick the scriptures tell you, 2 Thessalonians 2 and, 2 and 4, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, right? Or that is worshipped so that he is as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Okay? So, in order for him to do that, he, he can't present something that's well known to the people that is the mark of the beast to be the mark of the beast. All right, the, the cat is out the bag, if you will. Okay, people are aware. So, what is the best way for people to receive it? Because that's what it's, the scripture said, right? Let's go to the scripture. All right, Revelation chapter 13. Let me go straight to the point. Let's go to 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the num the name of the beast or the number of his name. You see, the RFID chip is supposed to be what? It's supposed to be something which you buy and sell. But he has all kind of plans up his sleeve to present this as a as a, a a safe haven okay as a rescue mission that's something people are going to want to have all right let me show you something i, I ran across some things all right so I, I came across actually it was a brother that uh sent he sent like a post where he talked about how uh bill gates stepped down from microsoft the, the being a ceo of microsoft and he's he actually um wants to get into this, uh, no, I'm sorry, he actually is putting all his resources, which somebody actually talked about it when I looked it up in this little blog right here. It says, I am really concerned about what is taking place. Curious to know what your thoughts on this is. With Bill Gates stepping down from Microsoft and putting all his resources for the ID2020 Alliance in December, they will include chips and mandatory vaccinations. See, and mandatory va vaccines, right? Because in order for the people to, for, in, in order for America to be back open, like Trump says, showing you that this place is a corporation, in order for this place to be back open, it has to be safe in the minds of the people. So what is something that's going to show that the people are safe? If you're vaccinated, right? And you already have people out there advocating for the vaccinations, but the vaccination is going to come with the chip, Okay, and I'm going to show you something, all right? Check this out. So, when you go to, let's go to ID2020 and see what this is all about. It says, an approach that is holistic, market-based, and address the full scope of the scale and the challenge. No, no government company or agency solved this challenge alone. So, they believe, look, we got to come together for the better for humanity. So, there's different companies that put their funding into this. Let's see what some of them are, all right? Accenture, a global management consulting professional uh, service firm, Accenture 
joined as a founding partner in June 2017. Essential representative participants in ID2020 Executive Board and Technical Advisory Committee. So you have a Technical Advisory Committee, right? It says what? Gavi, all right? It says the Vaccine Alliance brings together public and private sectors with the shared goal of creating equal access to new and under, underused vaccines for children living in the world's poorest countries. And that's what they want to do, man. They want to create this new world agenda and get rid of the old, the older generation, man. The, uh, 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 the baby boomers, if you will. They want to get rid of them and use these GMO babies to produce their new world agenda. All right. The people that are already minds are manipulated to believe that homosexuality is OK, you know, that believe in, you know, this weirdo uh, backwards society, this bugged out GMO thinking society, man. All right. They have already uh, cultured up the minds of the newer generation to fall in their plans. All right. It says so. You also have this vaccine company who <laughs> who uh, uh, produces vaccines for children. All right. It says Rockefeller Foundation. Hmm. And this reminds me of you guys that always always was talking about us, you know, being conspiracy theorists nuts. Remember, Nate said that we're conspiracy theorists nuts. All right. Remember, you had um, uh, 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 uh Yohanna and them saying that, uh, 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 that basically we're crazy for the conspiracy theories, basically believing that there's uh, different banking families that are controlling the world. And they want to present a new world order, you see? And, and we were, were known for, to be crazy for that, so to speak. And one of the families of who? The Rockefellers. And they're a part of this. So since 1913, Rockefeller Foundation has sought to improve the well-being of humanity around the world. The Rockefeller Foundation provided ID2020 with seed funding in, in 2017 and has been an ongoing supporter of ID2020's work. The American, you also too, you have who else? Microsoft, all right? Because Bill Gates already had his plans, his evil devised plans up in this thing, all right? It says the American multinational technology company joined ID2020 in January 2018, all right? And this, these, this is the executive board right here, man. These are the founding partners, okay? That's who this is, man. You have general partners, but these are the found. these are the guys that sit at the top of the board right here, man. Okay, this is another one created IDEO, the international design and consulting firm to design products, services and experiences to prove the lives of people in poor and unvulnerable. I'm saying in vulnerable communities. You see, so look, why is the medical, why is uh, someone with vaccines and people that deal with technology working on the same board for uh, ID 2020? Okay, this is what they want, man. All right, this is going to be presented in people's faces, man. And this is why you other Israelites out there, you need to realize that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Bar none, man. All right, it's real simple, easy, and plain, man. It's not, it, this, ain't, this ain't rocket science, man. You know? And that's pretty much it, man. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I got one more thing I want to show. I'm going to just go straight to the point on this, and then I'm going to play that video and then close out. All right, this is, it says, this is uh, actually Obamacare. All right. Going back, it was revised, revisited, you know, and uh, basically presented to the people. And a lot of the people are on Obamacare. A lot of people benefit from Obamacare and Obamacare. What is let's see what it says here. This is uh, page 1000. This is actually it from govinfo.gov. All right. So this is a legit website. This is not something somebody just wrote up and just put it out there on Wikipedia. All right. This is off the government website. All right. And let's see what it says. Right. Section C, National Medical. We're going to go straight to the point where it says National Medical Device Registry. Meaning what? In order to get this medical device, you need to register. All right. And it's a device. It says the secretary shall establish a National Medical Device Registry. And this subsection referred to as the registry. Right. To facilitate analysts of post market safety and outcomes of outcome outcomes data on each device that is or has used in or on a patient and right it says is a class three device or a class two device that is implantable life supporting or life sustaining you see so this is going to be the presentation of the mark of the beast this this life supporting this life sustaining device okay 
And you're going to have people out there that's, that know that they're Israelites. They're going to take this. And I perceive them to be out there with the chip in their body, basically saying, look, I got it. But guess what? I can't buy and sell with it. I can't buy and sell with it. You see? And it's going to be set up that way until one day something's going to happen to where it is going to be something for you to be able to buy and sell. No one's going to be able to buy and sell except they have that mark. It's just that simple. Okay? And that's, and that's pretty much it on that, man. I want to bring out this information. But I also, too, when you look at the census 2020, you see what's going on here, man. All right? This technological advancement. All right? This is, 20, this is the vision for the 2020 census. Okay? When you watch this video, you, you see they, they, there's an agenda that they want, man. And this is a part of their agenda. Biometrics is a part of their agenda. And then you may not be able to buy and sell with it right away, but best believe that's going to be the Trojan horse. All right? Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom Labakwari and peace to the elect. Shalom.